No matter how much I push myself making a project or how much fun I had making the project or how happy the client is with the project, it's always this big feeling of uncertainty in the pit of my stomach when posting that exact same project to the internet. It's like, damn, is this good enough? And I've been asking myself this a lot lately. When the hell did it become more nerve wracking to deliver a project on the internet to complete strangers than it is to deliver a project to a client who paid me big money. Why do I feel this unsureness, this almost nervousness when posting? Yo, this is the noisiest possible place to even introduce this video. Abandoned gas station on the side of a highway. We had to take some photos and pics. I want to talk about artists making art for other artists and how it's problematic to an extent, my own personal opinion. Let's get to it. This spot, this looks dope this way for sure. I like this little thing right here. I think maybe like a angle like this could probably be cool for some photos. I think that we got this really cool, interesting payphone right there that looks pretty dope. We gotta use some song. I don't know what we're doing. I think it's cool to just get out and try to make some stuff. That's what we're doing right now with no expectations. Who knows what this is gonna turn into. Since the beginning of me making music videos for clients, I can only recall a handful of times where I felt massive pressure to deliver. Most of the time, it's fun. We connect, we get on set, we have a great time, and we create something magical. We have meetings beforehand, we go over the image that we're trying to push and what we're trying to get from the project, and they know what they're getting. They've already seen my work, they've already seen what I can do, and they know that I'm gonna deliver that exact same quality and standard for the work that they're paying me to do. When you make project for a client, the little mistakes, little F-ups you make, little things that could be tweaked, the little things that you're trying to perfect, they don't even notice them. They just want you to create something that you're passionate about. And on the internet, when you're posting, the majority of your fan base of the people who are gonna be looking at what you're posting aren't your client. There are other artists who do the exact same thing as you. So these are people who are gonna exploit they're going to comment. They're going to give you recommendations. They're going to give you a lot of outside noises on what could have been done better in this project or what could have been done different. So I think that this creates a massive amount of pressure on us as artists to perform. And it's unnecessary because as long as we create content for our client who's happy about it and we're happy about it, that's really all that matters. I can't tell you how many times I've made tweaks to my creative process or tweaks to my gear kit or tweaks to my LUT or tweaks to my audio with other artists in mind. It makes you go above and beyond. And this could be a positive thing to an extent. Yeah, it's pushing you to be more creative, but it's also very toxic. It makes you very, very self-conscious about what you're posting online and it makes you I don't even want to post sometimes. You begin to obsess over the product and not the process. You got to be realistic as an artist. You're not going to get banger photos or amazing video every single time you pull out your camera and turn it on and start to make things. Getting out of this mentality of creating art for other artists allows you to just enjoy the process of making stuff. It allows you to go out and practice without this massive amount of pressure to deliver a product to a group of people who aren't even paying you or doing much of anything for you. You have to allow your own creative itch to push you to be a better creative person. You can't allow the opinions and the input and the critiques from other artists to allow you to create with them in mind. Because then you start pushing a standard on yourself and then you start to create things that aren't even necessarily you. And when it all boils down to it, there's no right or wrong with art. You basically just make whatever you feel or make whatever you want to do. It isn't my job to create what other people want to see. It's their job to create what they want to see. So as an artist, 
I think we all need to take a step back and stop creating art for other artists. I wanna thank Storyblocks for helping me make videos like this. Throughout this video, you may have noticed this really cool film burn transition, and I got this from Storyblocks. If you're ever in need of high quality stock video clips, After Effects, or Alpha Motion templates, as well as motion backgrounds, Storyblocks has you covered. They have a large demand-driven royalty-free library and you can download and use an unlimited amount of these assets when you sign up for an unlimited plan. So that in the description is going to be a link to take you over to Storyblocks. I highly recommend it and I really think that this is a tool that will take your creativity to the next level. 